my main question is, I have router paranoia at this uh -oh. point. And, uh, you ought to, because these days, these routers, they seem to be huge security flaws with every single one of them. Yeah, well, what do I do? I mean, I, money's not such a big object, say up to 500 bucks or something. Oh, no, you don't need to spend that much. So Tell me what to do, please. There's a couple of things. So first of all, let's explain um, that they're uh, of, you know, what happens with the bad guys is they look for soft targets, right? The, their goal is to get into your computer. Um, uh, secondarily, to use your computer to attack other computers. Mm -hmm. And they look for soft targets. Well, Windows used to be a soft target, but Microsoft's gotten so good at patching and updating, and people have become so careful about doing that, thanks to multiple warnings from me and everybody else, that that's not easy anymore. You don't see a lot of Windows exploits anymore. Then they went after the browser. People don't update their browser. And then Microsoft and everybody else, Google and Firefox, all updated browsers automatically. Okay, no longer a soft target how about the stuff the browser launches like flash or yeah. uh pdf files but adobe's gotten good about updating reader and flash so they keep looking they keep looking lately you see probably that skype and uh, apple's messages were attacked using a uh, malformed string just sending a text message that's bad uh, by the way microsoft fixed skype in a day apple says we're gonna fix it later this month yeah. uh <laughs> But now, but the latest is routers, because routers are cheap consumer products. Forty dollars, most people pay for their Linksys router. Um, these companies don't keep this stuff up to date. There have been many security flaws all along the way. On Christmas Day this past year, uh, a group of teenage hackers called the Lizard Squad took Microsoft's Xbox uh, network and PlayStation's network down with DDoS attacks. Via routers, it was they were down all day because they took advantage of a flaw, and there were so many routers with this flaw, millions that they were able to take those two sites down. The latest one is called uh, Bad USB, <laughs> and and a router that has a USB port for an external drive. Many of them were written, uh, or the code was they used code that was poorly written and flawed. And even if you don't have a drive attached to that port, it means your router is vulnerable to the outside. So we've talked about securing a router, but really the best way to, to protect yourself, in many cases the only way, is to get a new router. And if you're going to get a new router, my suggestion is either getting an Apple router. For some reason, Apple doesn't seem to be a target again. Uh, they are more expensive. That Maybe there's just fewer of them out there. Why attack them? They also don't use a lot of the technologies that uh, these other routers use, like WPS, that one button thing and they also write their own code and they seem to keep it up to date i get i get updates for my apple router i've never in my life seen an automatic update for any other router the other way to go is with a company who supports or wittingly or unwittingly third party there's good open source router software that is kept up to date like open wrt and tomato that's <laughs> another one um, and so what you could do is go to openwrt.org and look and see which routers they work with. Asus is the only router company I know. Maybe Buffalo is doing this now too. But Asus did a really cool thing. They said, look, we understand this is a problem. And uh, like all other router companies, we, uh, we find it hard to keep these cheap consumer devices up to date. So what we're going to do is make sure that our routers support uh, third-party router software called DDWRT, which is related to OpenWRT. So they have their own uh, firmware, but you can put open firmware on there as well. And these are actually quite good routers. So I guess if you're not going to get an Apple router, the other choice would be to get one of these Asus routers with DDWRT firmware support. An Apple router will support, you know, we have a whole Windows. Network. Yeah, the problem, yeah, you probably should get the Asus. The real problem with the Apple routers, they absolutely will work with any kind of machine, but configuration is easiest with Apple, with using an Apple uh, product. So get the, you know, get the Asus. Uh, get the Asus. Okay, it will do. And then um, to update the firmware, uh, basically you download it onto the router and you, and you press a button that says update. Okay, so you log into the router and then... Yeah, if you get the ASUS because it supports it. Otherwise, you put it on your PC and you write it to the router. It's not it's not complicated. Uh, you could find out more by going to the Tomato Router page or the... Uh, we'll put links in the show okay. notes, techguylabs.com.